Ever thought about how much you know about Laos, the landlocked gem of Southeast Asia? A world nestled in the heart of the continent, Laos holds a unique distinction as the only Southeast Asian country that doesn't touch the sea. Its identity as a landlocked nation has, in part, shaped its people and their history. Yet what Laos lacks in coastline, it compensates with its breathtaking landscapes. The Mekong River runs through its verdant scenery, and its pristine mountains and rice paddies create a picture of paradise. But Laos is more than just landscapes. It's a kaleidoscope of cultures with 49 diverse ethnic groups, each contributing a rich tapestry of traditions and languages. Its vibrant culture mirrors the colorful landscapes and its history is a testament to the resilience of its people. As we delve into this land of mystery, we'll uncover a Laos that's more than meets the eye. Prepare for some astonishing revelations about this hidden paradise that lets together into this land of mystery. Let's unwrap the layers of its past and present and unravel the stories that this hidden paradise has to tell. Did you know that the Mekong River, the world's 12th longest river, runs through Laos? This winding waterway is more than a geographical feature. It's the pulsating vein of the nation, shaping not just the landscape, but the lives of its people. The Mekong River is the economic backbone of Laos, its fertile banks nourishing the country's vital rice and fish industries. It's not just a source of food, but a bustling highway, a watery road that brings goods, people and cultures together. The river's ebb and flow dictate the rhythm of life in Laos, from the daily chores of the villagers to the grandest national celebrations. But the Mekong is also a symbol of resilience, Despite the challenges of industrialization and climate change, the river continues to flow, a testament to the enduring spirit of the Laotian people. The Mekong isn't just a river, it's the lifeblood of Laos. Can you guess why Laos is often referred to as the land of a million elephants? Well, let's delve into the tale of these majestic creatures. In Laos, elephants are not just large mammals, they are deeply embedded in the nation's cultural fabric, holding a symbolic significance that goes back centuries. Um, historically, these gentle giants were used in warfare, agriculture and royal processions, earning them a revered status in society. The elephant, with its immense strength and grace, is seen as a symbol of physical and mental strength. It's also considered a harbinger of good fortune and prosperity. Today, Laos is home to several elephant conservation parks where these creatures are protected and nurtured. These parks are a testament to the Laotian people's commitment to preserving their cultural heritage and the wildlife that forms an integral part of it. In Laos, elephants are more than just animals. They are a symbol of national pride. Have you ever heard of a city that remained hidden for centuries? Welcome to the Plain of Jars, this enigmatic site scattered across the highlands of Laos has puzzled historians and archaeologists alike. Thousands of stone jars, some as tall as a person, dot the landscape as if dropped from the heavens by giants of old. Their purpose, a mystery that continues to baffle us. The plain of jars is believed to date back to the Iron Age, making it 2,000 years old, give or take a century. Its historical significance is immense, offering a glimpse into a civilization that time nearly forgot. Some theorize the jars were used for funerary practices, while others suggest they were ancient storage units. The truth remains elusive, but what's certain is the awe-inspiring sight of these megalithic wonders, standing resolute and silent, bearing witness to the passage of time. This city is a testament to Laos's rich and enigmatic history. What if I told you that Laos is the most heavily bombed country per capita in history? A chilling fact, isn't it? This peaceful nation, nestled in the heart of Southeast Asia, has a past scarred by the brutalities of war. During the Vietnam War, Laos found itself inadvertently in the line of fire. The country was subjected to a relentless aerial bombardment campaign that lasted for nine years. Imagine this. Every eight minutes, 24 hours a day, for nine years, a bomb was dropped on Laos. The bombings were part of a covert operation aimed at disrupting the Ho Chi Minh Trail used by North Vietnamese forces. The result? Approximately 80 million unexploded bombs are still scattered across the country, a deadly legacy that continues to claim lives and limbs. The people of Laos have shown remarkable resilience, rebuilding their lives and their country from the ashes of war. Yet the scars remain. War has left an indelible mark on this peaceful country. Can you think of a country without a single McDonald's outlet? Yes, that's Laos. 
It might seem unimaginable in our globalized world, but in Laos you won't find the Golden Arches or any other international fast food chains. This Southeast Asian nation has remained untouched by the fast food revolution that has swept across the globe. What does this mean for Laotian food culture? Well, it's thriving. Without the influence of fast food giants, local eateries and street food vendors continue to serve traditional Laotian cuisine. Dishes like lap, a meat salad considered the national dish, and khao nao, sticky rice that's a staple in every meal, dominate the food scene. The absence of global fast food chains has preserved the authenticity of Laotian food, making every meal a unique experience. It's not just about the food, it's about the culture, the tradition and the people. So if you're a foodie craving a culinary adventure, Laos is your destination. Laos is a haven for authentic culinary adventures. Did you know that Laos is one of the most heavily Buddhist countries in the world? Buddhism isn't just a religion here, it's a way of life that shapes the nation's identity, permeating every facet of Laotian society. Buddhism first arrived in Laos during the 8th century, courtesy of Indian traders, and since then it's been intertwined with the country's rich cultural tapestry. The teachings of Buddha have a profound influence on the arts, literature, architecture, and even the national ethos. Walk through any Laotian city and you'll see the golden stupas reaching for the sky, a testament to their deep-rooted faith. Monks in vibrant, saffron robes become a part of the everyday landscape and the sound of temple bells is the nation's soundtrack. From the morning almsgiving ceremonies to the evening meditation sessions, Buddhism is not just practiced, but lived. It's a symphony of serenity that plays out daily, shaping the country's ethos and its people's lives. Buddhism permeates every aspect of life in Laos. The most shocking fact about Laos is perhaps its secret war, a clandestine conflict concealed from the world tucked away in the annals of the Cold War. In the shadow of the Vietnam War, another battle was fought, one that the world knew very little about, and it was right here in Laos. In the heart of the 60s, the Central Intelligence Agency, or the CIA, led a covert operation in Laos. This was the height of the Cold War, a time when the world was divided into East and West, communism and capitalism. Laos, a nation nestled between Vietnam and Cambodia, became an unexpected battleground. The CIA's secret war in Laos was not a standard military operation, it was a hidden conflict. A war without uniforms, without direct involvement of regular American troops. The main fighters were the Hmong people, an ethnic minority in Laos who were trained, armed and supported by the CIA. The secret war's impact on Laos was catastrophic. The country became the most heavily bombed nation per capita in history. The bombings left a tragic legacy with unexploded ordnance still causing casualties and hindering development even today. The secret war has indelibly shaped modern Laos. It disrupted the nation's path to development, left deep scars on its people, and even influenced its international relations. Despite the end of the war, Laos remains one of the least developed countries in the world. The secret war, however, also fostered resilience among the Lao people. They have shown remarkable strength in facing the challenges left by this hidden conflict. And while the secret war is a dark chapter in Laos's history, it is a testament to the resilience and spirit of its people. Understanding the secret war is crucial to understanding Laos. It's a part of the country's history that's often overlooked, but one that has had a profound impact on the nation and its people. The secret war is a dark chapter in Laos's history that the world needs to remember. So, we've taken an incredible journey through Laos, unveiling some shocking facts about this enchanting land. We've navigated the mighty Mekong River, the lifeblood of Southeast Asia. We've stepped into the land of a million elephants, a title that underscores the country's rich biodiversity. We've walked the hidden city of Laos, a testament to the country's history and culture, and braved the bomb-plagued landscapes, remnants of a war-torn past. We've savoured the uniqueness of a nation without a single McDonald's, a rarity in our globalised world. We've immersed ourselves in the Buddhist nation, where spirituality is woven into the fabric of everyday life. And finally, we've uncovered the chilling realities of the secret war, a dark chapter in Laos's history. Every corner of Laos has a story to tell, each more fascinating than the last. Don't forget to comment, subscribe and like to see more videos from Global Curiosities Unfiltered. Until next time, keep exploring. Keep